So, hello everybody, what is going on dudes, it is Kibi Shimaki here, and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy. Last time, we went ahead and made way through the Earth and Fire Floor, handling the Lich King and Carrie. This time, we are now on the Water Floor, where you think, where at the end of it, we shall be fighting the Kraken. But as you can see with my items, um, I went ahead and had to redo a couple of things, I had to redo this whole thing, because I had a slight error and it didn't register my save. However, I'm all good now. Um, as for what my magic and stuff is that looking like, boom, that's pretty much it. I got as much health as I could, uh, keeping everything in mind, having everything I can. Pretty much else to this, except kind of trekking our way to where we need to go. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. There's no treasure. Luckily, there's no treasure on this floor. But it'll take us a long while to get to the stairs in the southeast corner. So, um, east. And enter either side room to continue further south. Okay. So, yeah, there's a lot to trek through these waters. We are unable to escape from them, so be forewarned about Be prepared for that. Jeez, I don't know what the hell's with me saying about forewarned. I don't know why I keep saying it. I just keep saying it for some reason. I'm not doing it on purpose, I swear. Let's go ahead and let's use Thor's hammer, because we have that to our ability, and now we use Lit 3, because it does some decent damage. <sighs> I don't remember if it's lit 3 or what else. As long as you have the Zeus Gauntlets or Thor's Hammer, you should be able to do loads of damage to practically everything in this in the, on this floor. As you can tell, I kind of got rid of mine. I didn't, I didn't really want to keep the Zeus Gauntlet all too much since it took up space and I wasn't able to equip much for myself in armor. So, it's alright though. We made room, we made space for it, and now we have a Thor's Hammer! <laughs> yeah, there we go. What? Can you play on there? Yeah. You just have to connect that button on the other chair. Um... Ish. Um, but yeah. There really ain't much else we can do. All we gotta do is just hope that we take these enemies out as quickly as possible. There we go. Let's get the enemies. Took a while, but boom, get us some good gold and experience. So on, let's just enter this room as quickly as possible and head on to the south. Uh, let's see, south east corner. So we're gonna be over there on the right side. We have some sea trolls, some lobsters, and some sea snakes. Fortunately, we could just run from these enemies, I believe. They don't take too long to let us out, please. go. We are all good. Let's keep on moving. Let's see, we have this little tomb thing right here. Of course, we got some more waters to deal with. Ugh, God damn it. Oh, bam. Here we go, more golden experience. Let's just keep on moving. Head on down. Hello. You guys make so much noise. Alright, and I'm back. Sorry about that. Had a little interruption there, but now we have ourselves a little fight coming up. Be, for, be ready for it. Be prepared. Okay, my little sister had to cough right next to me, apparently. Uh, no, Sam, I'll stop that. Um, so let me just heal up however I can. Um, uh, use that on you, and then use that on you, and I think that should be okay for the most part. We head in here, and we have ourselves a battle with the Kraken. Now, for the first time in the Fiend Reunion matches, the Kraken actually uses a less dangerous strategy, and he's actually a lot easier to take care of. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. 
the most part, it's just the same things over and over again. He has 900 health and 70 absorb. So really just set up a fast as per usual. Um, then set up a fog 2 and attack as best as you can. Um, it's good. I guess we can do lit 3. Um, his attacks do buff up a lot as per usual. Uh, however, he will occasionally use lit 2. Um, so he really won't be doing all that much in this case, fortunately for us. But um, yeah, just be forewarned about that. And be ready for what the game has in store for you now. So let's just armor up as best as we can. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Set up a fast with Sauber on Zest. Set up a fast on Sauber with Dewo, and then we just go on the offensive. Actually, no, let's just use the lit 3 on him. And then we just go straight on the offensive. There's 99, not a whole lot. Uh, decent damage, but not too much. Do, do, do. There he goes, that swings. That's 447, which is very nice. So critical, too. Swing with Zest, swing with Saab. Um, have Flo try using Thor's hammer. And I guess you could have Dewo try using lit 2, see if that'll do any more damage. Boom, 437, I think we are... Oh, okay, cool. That got rid of it. That got rid of the Kraken. And just like that, we took care of it. Um, boom, get ourselves a good amount of experience. One gold is expected. Get ourselves some more enemies in the way, of course, because why not? But, um, yeah, we're practically done with this floor. There we go. Get out of there, and now we are on the wind floor. Of course, <sighs> annoying enemies galore, but we gotta heal up as best as we can. Is there ain't much else that we can do about it. Bam. Boom. 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 Bam. And bam. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna give it a little bit more zest at least. go. Seems like good enough health. Um, you have your usual group of enemies. You have heirs. You have worms. You got iron golems this time. You have some evil men. Some sorcerers. But of course our main um, offense is going to be the um, boss of this floor, Tiamat. Who is not that far from us. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Tiamat, Team Norton. Way two between... Are finally northeast. Okay, however, path southeast square. Okay, so there is kind of like a direct path that's to get to Tiamat. However, we're gonna want to follow a few other ways because there are a, there is a special item in here for us that we're definitely gonna want to get before we head off to the final boss. Let's see if we can hurry to get it. Uh, uh, let's see. Hurry up. Don't care about your boss or anything like that. There we go. Sorry about that. Had a um, little hiccup there. Hurry up. Let's follow this path. Come on. Got some worms, of course, getting in the way. We can't run from them, I believe. You can't run from worms, but you won't have to. Yeah, they shouldn't be too difficult to handle, really, at this point, with all the health and damage that we do. There we go, we're looking pretty good. Took care of that. Give me my experience in gold. Let me get out of here. Uh, looks like everyone's hitting level 29, which is pretty nice. Getting more HP and uh, stats up, which is very good. Uh, Southeast Square. Alright, here we go. Let's see, let's see, let's see. There you go, just looking over what's coming up, um, things like that. We're almost 
Capitan Humana Con Merten Anna Mer Don't care Let's go ahead and just follow this path Alright, shut <laughs> Got some more worms again, of course God damn it There we go, got our gold, got our XP. We can keep on moving. Head down here because this leads off to a little special side cave. Which, follow. Boom, there we go, get our golems. We are good. Ah, uh, damn it, no. Okay, well, of course they were folks. This head up here, and we get ourselves a Masmune, which is the best weapon in the game. Now, this can really go to anybody, but our best bet right now is honestly going to be Sobert. As much as Flo and Dewu would probably um, get from this, they're better off using their specials. Sober doesn't really need um, much else from this, so it's best to just keep them, give them a Sume, the Masmune to him. And then just do damage with everyone else. If you have a fighter, a master, or a red wizard, it'd really fit best on your master since he doesn't have that many um, items and things like that. Um, but yeah. Um, now with this, you can actually choose to leave and go take on that super boss, the war mech. But that is up to you guys. Um, I already took care of it, as you saw. So nearly all I got left to do is just to take on what lies left in the temple of Fiend. Go. Looking pretty low on health, unfortunately. Very much we can do about that. There we go. Keep on moving. Well, let's check here. Let's recover some health if we can. Go recover some. It's not a lot, but it's still a pretty decent amount. <sighs> I'm not ready for what lies ahead of us. Let's just hurry up and keep on going. Let's run and run. Of course, we're gonna get dazzled on. Um, just let me out, let me out. There we go, we are all good. We're moving. Um, I believe where we need to go is actually just up here. To the right! Have some airs, of course. Shouldn't have to worry about them, though. I think I think we should be able to run from them. I can't remember, though. Yes, we can. There we go. Thank goodness, Sober getting us out of there before we took too much damage. Let's run. Head over here. And here we have Tiamat. Without any hesitation, without even me healing, he's already here. Um. All I can really do is just kind of fight as best as I can. I don't have enough mana to set up a fast, unfortunately. Um, all I can do with Sauber is really have him try to heal Zess. Um, set up Flo to do Fog 2, and have Debo use a fast just to do damage with Zess. Of course, Tiama is a handful as per usual. Um, Tiamat, as I carry, has lost, her, has lost his odd weakness to poison in the fight, so Bane and Brack won't work, unfortunately. So we have to fight him for real this time. Um, he has weaker spells added to his arsenal, which is kind of interesting, but he has 1,100 health and 90 absorb, so setting up a fast will be really useful. Um, shedding, setting up a wall is going to be quite helpful in this sense, so make sure to set that up. Chancing Bane, which is kind of terrifying, but luckily we have some protector capes and rings, so you should be okay. Hopefully, I'm not lying. Um, um, there we go. Just get ready for any kind of onslaught that he sends at you, 
and do what you can. There we go, heal on Zest just so he has a bit more health. Not a whole lot, but just a bit more. There we go, Zest is gonna swing. Do 498, which is awesome. Now has a swing. Um, have Sauber. Um, give him. No, no, no. Give him another um, heal spell, heal pot, whatever. Um, I guess use Cure 4 on Zest because he's going to be needing it. And then have Dewo. I. Dewo can't really do much. Well, I guess we can set up a fast on Sauber and just try to do damage from there. There we go. Zest is at full. I don't know why that I did Cure then, or Cure 4 if I was going to use a Heal Potion. Wrong person. My bad. But there we go. Um, Tiamat's going to attack. Luckily Zest got all his health back up, so we are all good in that sense. Go ahead and keep on fighting. Swing at him. We do 10 hits for 323, which is not bad. It's actually pretty good. I have Dewo set up a fast on Sauber, so bonus damage. And now, what's left? Everyone now just has to pelt and swing on him. Because with this, that should take care of Tiamat. We have 9 hits, a critical for 199, maybe 200. He's going for Ice 2, he's just doing chip damage, any chip damage that he can get. Um, so yeah. There we go. Just take any damage that he sends at us. And, um. Yeah, there we go. Heal. Boom. Hurry up, please. There we go. One damage. It's fine. Flow, you did something at least. Table swings. That's 37. It's critical. Don't know if that'll be enough. Not quite. Sober swings. That's 283. And that should do it. There we go. Tiamat is down. We no longer have to worry about him. He's out of our hair. We are all good. Give us our experience. Give us our gold. Let us continue on to the final battle. Run from the Rock Golem. I think... Oh man, this is taking a big leap. But I think I'm going to be calling it here shortly. Can you pass this, please? There we go, um, head up here, we have the final staircase, and uh, well, all we can do is travel to the bottom, to the center room. But I'm going to be leaving it here, I'm going to go out of here and heal, refight everything I guess, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching, hopefully you all did enjoy, if you guys did please show me some love and support, hit that like button, comment down below what you all want to see, or what you all enjoyed so far. Share with anybody and everybody, and if you're out on new, certainly subscribe. That's it for now. Thank you guys for watching, and I will definitely be seeing all of you dudes next time. Peace out, everybody.